that don't like me. And when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. No woman is going to be happy with you chasing her ass all the time. Like, all yeah. the time. I'm not talking about in the beginning when you guys are coming together. I'm talking about if you live your life chasing a woman and showing up at her doorstep and having flowers and shit and violins and, you know, all that shit, you're killing yourself. Yeah. The relationship is not going to last. The reality is you when you buy your way in and you become a provider and you just become like a like you represent provision, that's not the same as being sexually stimulated. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, out. representing provision and just being a guy, yo, I'm going to buy you a bunch of shit. Yo, that, that's weak. I See a guy, buy, a guy that a guy, nobody guys that again. use money, guys that use money, <laughs> never do guys that, that use again. money to to sustain their relationships and use money to get their way in. That's yeah, that was me. That's, that's weakness. Fucking, it's weak. I mean, because you don't believe in you enough. Yeah. You you trying no, to use man. money. Yeah, yeah. You, see what I'm you gotta be you. That. The money, the money is an exclamation mark. Yeah. The money makes you more of whatever you already are. Yeah. But you gotta bring something to the table. When you get out of a relationship. You have feelings that lean toward not ever wanting to be in a relationship again. So why is it then that many men find themselves right back into a relationship situation within the first year of being out of a long-term relationship that in their mind, hearts, and spirits ended terribly? You can go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. No, you came here to get the truth. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yeroshalam coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kodash. The name of this one is Know Your Value, Know Your Worth. Don't give these women your attention. All right, and as you saw in the start of this video, the woman was basically saying that you know she doesn't like a man who runs her down. All right, she like a man who doesn't like her. All right, <laughs> pretty much. All right, you know, and this goes back to the core of what a woman really is. A woman is a servant. A woman is the one who's supposed to pander to you as a man. All right, a woman is the one who's supposed to pander to you as a man, and that's just the facts. All right. A lot of people come and talking this and talking that. A lot of these women come with these lies and saying, you know, you have to get a woman this and you have to get a woman that. And Jake's out there and getting woman shit. Pookie and Riri and getting Eve shit. You know, they're just blowing out their back. You know, you know, you know, playing, you know, you know, getting that box. That's all they're doing. And these women flock to those kind of men because they're white. They're sexually attracted to these men. All right. So now we're coming back to this truth, you know, all the lies from the world. You know, which we've been under serious lies, a flood of lies. You know, it's been cast away. You know, and we get back what the remembrance. You know, we get back the remembrance of who we are as Israelite men, all right? And the power that we have, and the fact that what the Lord said, "Hey, ye are gods." So let me play for this little short clip with this woman here. We have a type. I like guys that don't like me, and when they start liking me, mm -hmm. I don't like them. See that? Plain, plain, plain as day. Right? And that's why in this truth, even as the apostles say, you know, before you become a man of the Lord, you have to become a man. Right? Uh, let's get the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 46. Verse 8. It reads, uh, Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors, ye guilty ones. Because why? We, we were simping in the world. All right. Remember the former things of old, for I am power and there's none else. I am power and there's none like me. So, you know, hey, hey, this is what was going on in the world. We, we, uh, um, Jake was, Jake was pretty much doing as this scripture says here, right? Which the scripture is really for life, as you can clearly see. First Ezra chapter four, and um, I start verse fourteen. Right, O ye men. Is it not the great king, nor the multitude of men? It is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth. Who is it then that ruleth over them, or hath the lordship over them? Are they not women? Right, and that's the truth. You know, especially for um, women in this truth. Some men in this truth still, still, have, still may have this, these old worldly ways right now for these women. But hey, this, this, this is not what you're supposed to do. You have to know your word and understand that these, how these women think too. 
all right because it's all about wisdom it's all about getting wisdom knowledge and understanding and the lord lead it all out in his scriptures all right don't give these women a level of attention all right these women are just mainly for right now you know for one thing you know if you if you have your yeah, if you're burning any flesh and whatnot you know if you have a good wife all praises to abashim you know you take care of your wife you know and she take care of you all right so let's let's jump down to verse 22 first address 4 and 22 right it says um by this also you must know that women have dominion over them right because actually you have to I'll read a little higher up um Yeah, first Ezra 4 and 17. Um, in fact, I read from verse 18. Yeah, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go, do they not gape and even with their open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? Yeah. You know, yeah, men, men are more desired to these women. And these women, they know they're not right. All right? They will use you. All right? Because that's what they're pushing now. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion and those things like that. You know, um, they, they, they're pushing using men. Taking what they have. Advantage them. And this is exactly what these women do now. Using men as options. Getting, getting their rent paid. Getting the car note paid. Getting the nails done. The hair did. All these things off of men. All right? And many different men. See? <laughs> 50 cents says many men you know many men right it says and letting those things go do they not gape and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her and have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold yeah they given up all the money that they work hard for for this woman or any goodly thing whatsoever a man leave it his own father that brought him up and his own country and could leave it unto his wife all right he sticks not to spend his life with her and remember it not father nor mother nor country by this also you must know that women have dominion over you do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman and really and truly these women nowadays have nothing to give to you they're more masculine than, uh, 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 than you all right they're more masculine than you because of why the poison of feminism all right because of all the po the, the, the um the the, the, the estrogens that uh, you saw been pumping into men testosterone into women causing an imbalance in them all right really going back to um, isaiah 31 and 22 let's get that the book of isaiah chapter 31 and 22 selakia 31 is the 30 jeremiah jeremiah selakia jeremiah 31 and 22 it says how long will thou go about O thou backsliding daughter for your Howard creating a new thing in it, a woman shall compass a man. Yeah, a woman, woman compass. Men becoming servants unto women. Alright? This is what the scripture is going into. Alright? Men becoming servants unto women. Jump down to verse 26. It says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sake. But the word woman actually means servant. You know, when it goes to uh, Genesis 2 and 18, it says that a woman, you know, is to be the help a help meet for a man she was created as a help meet all right but now it everything's been reversed the whole earth is out of course all right uh psalm 82 psalm 82 and 5 they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness all the foundations of the earth are out of course right because this woman ruling over us and when they jump down you understand why is it so awfully wrong? Because Psalm 82 and 6 says, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Right, so the men, we men are gods. We are powers, men of Israel that is. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Right, because we be in this weak body, and that is why these women don't have respect on us. We don't have the power. Women are groupies. They cleave to power and money. Alright? Because we don't have it right now. You know, they treat us like trash. But the Lord is raising back up his men. That's what they don't understand. And he's going to create a situation to bring down these haughty eaves. The women of our nation. Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Right? So don't give your strength to a woman. A woman. 
right? Don't be a servant to a woman. Don't be a simp bait to main man, man China as, a, as the book of Alpha Run me usually says, you know, disclaimer, right? Copyright disclaimer. All right? Running behind box. All right? Know your worth. Know your worth. Know that you are precious man of the Lord. Right? Verse 27 says, Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. All right? Uh, Sirach, Sirach 25, 24. All right? From the woman come the beginning of sin. And through her we all die. Many men get sifted out of the street because of a woman. All right? No, no. The reward is, the reward is much greater. According to Matthew 19, chapter only 29 verse. Yeah, wish I said what? You're gonna get many women. Alright, these women gonna be pandering after you if you stay in this truth. You stay you stay focused on your abashim your shine pushing this wood. You gonna get women like that. Say so, hey, you running after no woman. You ain't running after no bitch. Alright, verse 28. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in power? Do not all regions fear him? Fear to touch him? Right? Yet did I see him and appear me the king's concubine, the daughter of Admiral Barticus, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head. She also stroked the king with her left hand. And yet for all this, the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. But if, he took, but if she took away, took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter that she might be reconciled to him again. Right? O ye men, how can it be that be but women should be strong, seeing they do thus? <laughs> wow. You know? Women strong in this kingdom, under these heathens. Right? But the righteous kingdom is coming. So don't be a simp. Don't give on yourself. Remember this and show yourself men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Okay? You know? Bring it, bring it, let everything brought, be brought back to remembrance of who we are. Right? Because these women, deep inside, right? They don't want a man, they want a man to rule over them. Right? According to what the scripture says. Because why? It's in them because the Lord put it in them. This is Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow shall thy bring forth children, and the desire, thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Now, when you go into the NLT, it says, "And your desire to con, and you will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over thee." So these women desire to control it, but really and truly, deep down, they want to be dominated by a man. And that's the truth. And the Lord said for the wives to be subject to the husband in all things, anyway. Ephesians five and twenty-two. But we are the prize. We are the prize. That all of these men. Uh, talking about you know high value men and you take all these guys you know yeah the Lord has them doing what they're doing to still back up the men to this to this mindset still back up the spirit of, the, of men and bring it back to remembrance you know but they're off they don't have the full truth but we have the full truth right and these same men they're gonna be destroyed right they're gonna be taken down because they don't they're not men of the Lord they're not prophets of the Lord they're not the friends of the prophets the righteous men so they're going to be taken down and the men of the Lord are going to be put up on that pedestal under Yahweh Shai, who is the ultimate alpha male. Our Lord, our role model, our I, our idol. Right? I don't say that, that, that kind of way, but you know, he's, the Lord is who we look up to. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. Right? We pattern ourselves after Yahweh Shai, who is the ultimate alpha male, the alpha and the omega. Right? So we are the prize. You know, these men are going to be taken down according to 2nd Ezra 16 and 33. According to Isaiah 3 and 25, they're going to fall by the sword, they're going to fall by the famine. Alright, you know, they're going to fall through the plagues. Time is coming. And the true men of the Lord, alright, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 1, they're going to be exalted. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, Yahweh Shai, and princes shall rule in judgment, the 144,000. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covered from the tempest. As rivers of, of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And the eyes of them that see, right? So the man is going to be like that. Lord, man, from all the storm that's coming in Jacob's trouble, the crazy time, the tempest, plagues, the, the, you know, the sword, the AI, you know, my terminators, zombies, 
All this coming, a man, a man of the Lord is the only way you're going to be safe as a woman. Right? Verse 3, And the eyes of them shall that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall not hark, shall hearken. Why are they going to hearken? Because the Lord is going to give his men power. Power. The men of the Lord are going to be the one with substance, the ones eating and drinking. All right? The ones in good spirit. Psalm 110 and 3, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So eventually we're going to be changed. But even before that, certain men are going to get that spiritual power. The men of the Lord. Certain men, I believe, are the 144,000. Going to be lifted up with that power. And when they get that power, these women are going to listen. This is the reason why, you know, they're not only going to listen, they're going to want to beg to be a wife. All right? So you, you don't beg, you don't need to beg any woman. This Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, right? Because a man, men are the sheep of the Lord's flock, not women, right? No woman could deal with Yahweh Shai. That's just facts, right? Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of a place in the wrath of Yahweh of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. And now the Lord is going to act out his fierce anger through his men. The scriptures say that we are the we are the battle axe and the weapons of war. Right? You know, the Lord, the scriptures say we're gonna beat them nations into pieces. Okay? And the Lord is gonna send saviors out of Israel. Now let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get the book of Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 21. Right? It reads, it reads, and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. Right? Okay, remember Simeon Toko made a statement. He said, one day many like me will come and you'll be able to do nothing against them. Against us. Alright? Okay? Obadiah 1 and 21. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. The kingdom shall be Yahbashim Yahushais. Alright? One more precept. Uh, the book of Nehemiah chapter 9 verse, verse uh Verse 27. Alright. Um, yeah. Nehemiah 9 and 27. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of thy enemy of their enemies who vex them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, right? This is what's gonna happen in Jacob's trouble. Notice they say trouble. Alright. Thou heardest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies. Thou gave us them saviors, save us with what? Spiritual power. Right? Say, so, hey, you're gonna have spiritual power, it's gonna be 144,000 black Adams. Right? And however, amount of men out of that, that number that the Lord leave on the earth, you know, hopefully we are among that number. Lord praise the Abashim Yahushai, Baba Kusha. You know, you know, we're gonna get that power. Right? Thou give us them saviors who save them out of the hands of their enemies. And a lot of women are gonna be saved out of the hands of the enemies. Right, Isaiah 4 and 1, they're going to come and they're going to beg. And that day seven women shall take hold of one man. Alright? In fact, let me get that scripture and we'll close it off with that. Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 1. And in that day, which day? The day of the trouble. Right? When all hell break loose, which is very soon, according to the prophet, way prophecies are going. Right? And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right? You know, and this they, they want to be safe. Right? In that time, in that dreadful time. So with that, hey, you know, take 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 heed, you know. Um, you know, raise up, lift up your head, lift up the faint the faint hands. Okay, praise the Abashim Yahushai. Don't rely on don't, you know, don't don't let that um that box spirit, you know, get on you. You have to run down this woman, wasting your time, right? Focus on the kingdom. And all things shall be added unto you. Pray this lesson was edifying. Know your value. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Hawa Bashem Yawashai, Bashem Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Till next time, Abad Babal and Shalawam.